Hello, YouTube, and we're back with Emerald Part 2. And this is a journey to meet your dad at the gym. And these are some of the Pokemon I obtained. I'm not really going to use them. I was hoping for a Zigzagoon, and all I kept running into was constant Puchianas. So I just decided I'm not going to get a Zigzagoon. I'm just going to raise a tail and a Shroomish for now. And this battle begins. Um, you may notice that my Kippers has more experience than last time, because I've done a couple of battles. And that's pretty much all I've done, is just capture those two Pokemon, and done some battles. And Poochiana is down. And my Kipper is now level 8. It's a pretty good stat boost right there, except for the speed. Train years more, that's right. You may notice that when I run, that it looks like I'm skating. I have no idea why. Might be my hypercam, I have no idea. But just try to ignore that. And wormples get so annoying at this time of the game, because especially if they have a mudkip, since wormples string shots, see, look what he goes. It'll really slow you down. So, I don't know, I'd recommend working up from your speed level. Although it's not really that much of a threat. And whoa, I'm almost level 9 already. And no, I don't think I want to change. Since apparently I don't want to move dead. And I, they're just weak. I mean, I don't really want to use them. Okay, Kipper's just tackle. Worm pull is down. And I guess we get to move on now. And Kipper's made it to level 9. And it's all well balanced. Not the best, but pretty well balanced. Alright. I would try and get a Waltz, but those are pretty extremely rare over here. It's amazing how that Wally guy gets it on his first try. But I don't like Waltz because he doesn't work good in the rooms until a bunch of levels pass. Alright, let's take down the Zigzagoon. Uh, looks like it'll be two hit KO. Oh, I used Growl. Never mind that then. Attack missed. Alright, just finish it off already. Okay. Critical hit just now. That didn't do any good. Halo. Level 3 tail. Expected it to be way more. And yet, it doesn't do that much damage. Surprising. And Kipper's attack missed again. Alright, now that everybody's lower on my attack, it makes it really hard. Yeah, hopefully, I, I, I really need to use potion after this battle. But first, I think I'll stop by and get some little berries. Two Pekka Berries. Petcha Berries, whatever you want to call them. And two Orin Berries. Maybe I'll quit my Mudkip with those later. Alright. Well, before I fight her, let's use a potion. winning and aim to be the best trainer. <laughs> He'll never leave from that spot, I can guarantee you that. Another Zigzagoon. Everybody over here uses Zigzagoons. Critical hit. That's nice timing for a critical hit. Kipper, Kipper's grew to level 10. So we can attack them pretty good, but best for special attack, especially Mudkip, and my, my little uh, Pokedex book I have apparently I think says that um, Swampert has a higher attack than Special Attack, which really just surprises me the way they made him that way. Especially since water, Muddy Water is a uh, special type move and needs Special Attack instead of just Attack. And 
furthering your career. Oh, career, there's no job in this game. Alright, we'll stop by and get this potion. There's a lot of free potions in this area, I'll take advantage of that. Oh, we could just save up a lot of money and just buy 99 Pokeballs. Let's just destroy this Poochiano over here, I can use a little bit of experience. Yeah, my, my Kipper is getting pretty strong. Alright, Poochiano is down. 23 experience points? Oh well. Alright, well... I guess maybe I should heal up. Since half of my team is proven dead. Okay. And we're heading out to the gym. It's a shame that I can't battle him yet, but... Later I will, and I will destroy him. I will annihilate him. One thing that really make, makes him easy is that... He has Pokemon that attack one turn, and the next turn they just have to lay there. That's like a weak point if you can do a two-hit KO on them. That's, that's it for them. They're gone. And he wants Pokemon. I wish he would just take the Zigzagoon that he longs in and just deal with it. But oh well. He's gonna get a Waltz. Which I don't, I don't, I don't really think you can raise that with that other Pokemon because all it knows is teleport. I think. Pretty sure I could be wrong. Teleport and ground. All right. Waltz. Waltz are too rare, I think. Zigzagoon is pretty weak. But after all, it is a level 5 Ralts. I'm level 7 Zigzagoon. There's too many Zigzagoons in this area. Everybody has one. And you can't even pull back the Pokemon and go straight at the Pokemon. That's really dumb. I would laugh so hard. If, if he missed that, even though he, I know he can't, because it's programmed in the game. I mean, if he just missed that, it, it would really, like a glitch or something, it would just really be funny if he missed that. It's his only Pokemon, it's just gone. Or else it's just gone. Oh, well, it's his Pokemon, we're heading back to the gym. So the next gym is in Rosboro City, and she's a rock type. I mean, my kippers will easily destroy her. Okay, and I believe, I think somebody down here gives you something, but I don't, I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played this game. I mean, like two years. That's when I actually really got into the game. Did somebody over here give you something? No, apparently not. Well... I think maybe somebody in here gives you something. No, no, I can't be right. Okay, well, Scott apparently shows up. That's his name. I might not say it now, but his name's really Scott. So apparently not. He assumes you're a Pokemon trainer and then changes his mind. And well, I guess maybe that, that wraps up this video. So I think I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. Till then, see you later.